you have never known what that compound or what that flower actually consisted of from a phytochemical major cannabinoid minor cannabinoid and terpene analysis yeah. standpoint oh, no. and so what we did is is okay. is through our relationships and, and our efforts to heal veterans just like myself and other people who struggle with chronic conditions is is information it comes down to information and so what we see in your strain and that is very significant for epileptic patients is the presence of beta caryophylline and if you dig in very quickly, just hop on a Google search, or you look at the anti-epileptic, anti-convulsive, anti-inflammatory uh, properties of beta caryophylline and how that is the one of the integral ingredients. It's also one of the terpenes that acts just like a minor cannabinoid and a major cannabinoid that binds with the CB2 receptor. And so this is a very unique terpene that is the predominant terpene in your medicine. Wow. And so... Uh, awesome. there's something to say about that. You say, wow, right? Somebody Just who's been doing this for 18. And I forgot. Yeah. Somebody who's been doing this for 18 to 20 years, struggling, looking for answers. And the one thing that helps you, even amidst the doctors telling you and driving you toward the pharmaceutical needs and using and relying and establishing cannabis and marijuana as a critical need to your healing and lifestyle, you did not know what those leading compounds were within that flower. Right. Um, no, but my body did. That's right. That's yeah. <laughs> absolutely right. And it goes a lot deeper than just what percentage THC is in this product. Which absolutely. Is and, and here's the, the surprising thing. Not sure. only will we go through the terpene list of, uh, you know, the top 10 or, or cannabinoids, uh, terpenes that are involved, but we also have the major and the minor cannabinoids of your medicinal strain. And before we get into this, because I want the consumers or the, or the viewers to actually have a similar experience that we did, mm -hmm. is we were at your house and we smelled the difference between your strain and my strain or your chemovore cultivar. And, and you knew right away your nose knew. Mike, just from an outside perspective, yeah. putting you on the spot, sure. talk to me about that experience compared to the strains that we had previously had access to. When I first saw you smell um, the strain that we brought, and smelled the strain that you use. I had no idea that somebody could know with the without a shadow of a doubt that this would be beneficial or not. And I think at that point, relationally, we didn't know each other. So you're trying sure. to be polite and not say, <laughs> no, bro, this is not going <coughs> to work. But uh, you knew right away. Yeah. You know, and so for us, that kind of sent us on this journey of like, wow, I wonder what we can do too. You know, what if we start training our noses to start thinking about it in a way that when we smell something that's a little more piney or a little more fruity or a little more uh you know nutty that they they can impact our bodies in really unique ways sure talk to me about that experience of trying his flower for the first time what is it that you remember about it i, I remember it had a very peppery spicy but sweet kind of flavor a little bit of honey a little bit of pepper and and and, and as you smell it you you get um, that underlying tone of spice, but you also get a little bit of sweetness to it. And I think, sure. you know, for, from my perspective, that's that's kind of where we, we started with comparing, okay, this one's got a little pepper in it too. It's also got some... And, and you inhaled it, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. what did that experience feel like? Uh, it, was, it was a full body experience. It, it didn't feel like a single note. Um, it was extremely long lasting. It was very long lasting, yeah. It... it, it it had a longer effect. Um, also, I noticed that um, the, it, it, for lack of a better word, it, it didn't get my mind uh, clouded. It was very clear. It was a very calming. It thought. wasn't high and euphoric. Exactly. Yeah. But in your words, because I'll never forget this, mm -hmm. you said it had a different dimension to it. Yeah. Right. Because sure. there was depth to the experience. And then when we go back, and we see that in experience, and now that you know that kind of changes our perspective going forward. Yeah. And we're starting to experience and build on this some, some of this stuff ourselves. There's yeah. diversity in the way your nose experiences it and the way your body is going to react to it. Right. And, and since I've met you, I've gotten to the point where I'm able to do that. And yeah, I know what that experience that is going to be by just smelling.